Okay, so this is a new video that's in a continuation of previous videos. And what this is, is I did some previous videos on two, two different videos. I had drawn out a bunch of magnetic, you know, kind of drawings and so on. And I just put all kinds of stuff in there. And, you know, if, if you're interested, you can go check it out. I'm not going to like summarize any of it because it's just a lot of cool drawings and stuff. But I, I also, after I did all the magnetic stuff, I came to kind of a final point, what I was calling the tonal structure of the human psyche, which also by extension, you could take it and map it out to a tonal structure for everything. Now, what, what that means is, um, let me start kind of sort of at the beginning. Um, what these are, what I've drawn here are what I'm calling magnetic spin frequencies. So the the basic theory is that underlying everything in nature, reality, whatever, you, me, everything, space, um, are all of these kind of magnetic spin frequencies that are basically kind of laid out in this grid kind of lattice three-dimensionally, not two-dimensionally, which is kind of anybody who comes up with two-dimensional models of reality are insane. But anyway, so three-dimensional um, grid lattice, um, magnetic lattice of, mag or lattice, grid lattice of magnetic spin frequencies. Now, all of these spin frequencies, these are uh, north spins, which are anti-clockwise, and south spins, which are clockwise. So as you look at it, what's happening is these spins are alternating, you know, top uh, vertically you know top to bottom and horizontally left to right so you have you'll have like a, a you know a north and then it's surrounded by all of these the the south and then you'll have a south and it's surrounded by the north now what i've drawn out in other videos was the magnetic current flows that kind of i was predicting and uh other things but what's important about this kind of model is that it maps out the magnetic spin frequencies and it's kind of like you can almost look at it and you can see a grid and you can almost see a line of frequencies kind of going down and what you have is these di diagonal lines also of you know uh, north flowing kind of currents and south flowing currents so you have this kind of currents you, that you can see running throughout the whole system going north to south north to south hopefully that got you dizzy so it can kind of boggle your mind but anyway, so so basically, you have right there kind of uh, essentially a map. I mean, each of these are, I don't know if you can see them clearly, these are spins. So they're just spinning together. So so what, what's happening in this whole system of magnetic currents, magnetic spins, magnetic current flows, is resonance. But what is resonance? Resonance is actually spinning together. So if you take all of these uh south spins what happens is they're spinning together and so as they're spinning together and the and the north spins as well they're spinning together as they spin together they're generating these north and south magnetic current flows and that's what carries along not only all of the mag or well not only the magnetic particles the magnetons but also that helps to either generate or circulate electrons and photons as well as protons and neutrons. And the basic theory, I think, which I, I don't know if it's totally valid, but at least I'm kind of, it's a working theory right now, is that one of the magnetic spins generates uh, both electrons and protons. I think that's correct. And then one of the other magnetic spins uh, generates photons and neutrons. Now, I'm not sure if that's correct, if I've got the right breakdown, but I think something like that may be correct. And then the two fundamental particles would essentially be different varieties of uh, magnetons, these, you know, north and south spin magnetons. So that's the basic idea. Um, within all of these magnetic spin frequencies, like I said, you have very specific electrophotonic frequencies. So the whole rationale is if you take the human being and you can map out these magnetic spin frequencies correctly, then what you can do is also precisely identify the tonal structure of the human psyche. In other words, you can map out the frequencies, the tones of each one of these, the sounds, the vibrations, the frequencies. And then 
we can start figure, figuring out what are the kind of correct baseline frequencies, say, for a healthy human being or, you know, healthy psychology or normal, uh, you know, developmental, you know, like if someone has, we could correct these developmental d- uh, disabilities right before they even, you know, occur, because we could apply the right kind of magnetic spins and, you know, frequencies. So this is kind of the you know, just an extension of what I was doing. And I hope that it's relatively clear and it makes sense and that it's useful. And of course, it'd be most useful if you watch all of the other videos with drawings, because then you can place it in its proper context. That's about it. Thanks. Bye.